If you feel overwhelmed by meal prep or maybe stressed out because there are so many different things to do, or maybe you feel like you just don't even have enough time to complete a full meal prep, then I hope this video will help. When I first started out, I actually just started by washing and chopping all my veggies for the week because that was the thing that I found during the weekdays I just hated doing the most. And if I didn't do it on the weekend, I never got it done. So even if you only have 20 or 30 minutes to spare on a Sunday, this is still something you can easily fit in. and it actually will save you so much time, energy, and effort throughout the week. Not to mention, it will help you eat your greens throughout the week, which is another important reason to do it. So let's get started. Now, like I said, we are starting very simple today. I don't have that many veggies to prep. And if you are a beginner, I highly recommend starting out as simple as possible. Just take a few of the regular veggies that you eat throughout the week and go ahead and wash and chop them. So I'm starting this wash and chop with just some green leaf lettuce, purple kale, and some dino kale. I'm also going to steam some beets. You can actually eat beets raw, but I prefer them cooked, so I'm just going to steam them in the Instant Pot. That way they can cook hands off while I work on the rest of the veggies. I just did a quick spin in the salad spinner on this green leaf lettuce and now rolling it up in a tea towel to absorb any excess moisture. And I just leave it in this towel and you can put it in a Tupperware or in a Ziploc bag and then into the fridge. For the rest of the lettuce, I'm trying something new today. I'm actually going to go ahead and chop a few days worth to prepare for salads. And I'm also going to add some of this kale in there as well. For the remaining kale, I'm just using another tea towel to line my Tupperware, and you can just fold it over to make a few different layers. In order to keep things a little bit simpler today, I'm just going to wash half of this pack of peppers. I buy this package because it's a lot less expensive, but if I don't have a lot of recipes planned to use up these bell peppers, then I'll just wash half the package at a time. So immediately I'll take out the other four and store them in a reusable bag. This goes straight back into the fridge and these peppers will stay good for quite a while if they're unwashed, usually at least a week, if not two weeks. So I can prepare these in my next prep, which will be next Sunday and then I will just wash and chop the four that I've taken out for today. Now with the bell peppers, you can either cut them into strips, which I like to do if I'm going to be using these for snacking, or you can also cut some of them into smaller pieces if you plan to use them in a cooked meal or for salads. Doing a salad prep like this is really helpful if you're someone who enjoys eating salad, but really doesn't like the prep work. Like myself, I have just found that lately I have not been eating as many salads as usual. So I'm just trying this out and seeing if this helps me eat more salad. This will not stay fresh for that long. It needs to be eaten up within the first three, maybe four days. I think having the paper towel in here will help, but it also motivates me to eat it so that it doesn't go bad. And like I said, I can just take this whole thing out, grab a handful, and add it to my salad bowl. For carrots, I just follow the same principle as the bell peppers. If I'm going to be using them for snacking, then I will cut them into a snacking size. But these carrots I have planned for soup, so I'm cutting them into bite-sized pieces. I'm also just peeling a couple cloves of garlic to keep whole in the fridge. This makes it really easy to just take out a peeled clove as needed and add it into whatever I'm cooking. Same with the onions. We're gonna chop three onions today. And again, this will just make it really easy to add into whatever I'm cooking that week. Something I really enjoy is hot water with lemon, especially in the winter. However, something I really do not enjoy is taking out a lemon every single day, cutting it in half, squeezing it, putting the other half back in the fridge, and continuing that cycle every single morning. So what I prefer to do is just to squeeze the entire batch at once. If you have out the cutting board, the knife, and the lemon squeezer, you might as well just squeeze the whole batch at once. And then you can store the lemon juice in a glass jar in the fridge, 
or actually what I prefer to do is just store it in the freezer and that way I can pop out a lemon cube anytime I want it in my hot water or for anything else I need. Like if you want to add it into your soup or into a salad dressing, then you have fresh lemon juice squeezed and ready to go. And I'm just using this silicone mold to freeze the lemon juice, but of course you could also use a larger size silicone mold or just keep it in the fridge like I mentioned. Once the beets are finished cooking, we're just gonna let them cool and then carefully peel off the skin. You can either do this with a small knife or with a vegetable peeler. And then just chop those up into bite-sized pieces. Such an easy prep today that did not take very long. Even if you only have 20 or 30 minutes to spare, this is something you can do to set yourself up for the week, to eat a little bit healthier, add a little more veggies into your diet. If you are newer to meal prep and you wanna try it out but you're not really sure where to start, I actually have a free five-day meal prep challenge coming up. We will be starting next Wednesday, January 18th, and I would love to have you join us. You'll be getting a daily email from me with some guidance and also a little bit of homework to do, as well as there is a Facebook group that is also free you can join, you can ask questions there, get feedback, post pictures, and encourage each other, cheer each other on. So again, I'll leave the links in the description box and the pinned comment down below. And with that, let's see plants, and I'll see you guys next time.